Right, a very good morning to you all. I hope we're all good. It's already Thursday. It's the 20th of April 2023 and I'm here to bring you all a look at the weather forecast for South East England for the next 24 hours. So outside at the moment, absolutely beautiful start out there. Clear blue skies, but it is a bit chilly and changes are on the way. So let's start off by having a look at the temperatures. Uh, around the southeast of England this morning. So we'll start in my back garden here at Folkestone. So 7.3 here in Folkestone. It's 4.6, a little bit chillier in land over at Cranbrook in Kent. <clears throat> Move down towards Knighton on the Isle of Wight, 6.1 there, a little bit warmer on account of the breeze coming off the sea. Move over towards Chilworth near Guildford. You're at 4.6 this morning. A chilly 2.5 over at the inland station at North Hinksey near Oxford. And at Stevenage, 4.8. Move over to Stamford La Hope in Essex. You're at 5.9 this morning. And we end in the big smoke in London at 7.1 degrees. So temperatures are a little bit up and down and it has been cold in some of those rural locations. And if we take a look at the amateur stations, this is provided very kindly by Bruce from Mepham Weather. We have dropped below zero in some parts of the southeast of England this morning. Ainsford, I see here, minus 0 0.8. But there are other stations, minus 0 0.6 at Shoreham. This is in Kent, Nats Valley, just above zero. So although this isn't picked up on the main stations, just goes to show the importance of some of these amateur stations filling in the gaps. So top of the hots this morning, current maximum temperatures, Valentia Observatory in Ireland, you are at 10.3 with many other of the top hots between 8 and 10 degrees. It is chilly as I've mentioned, um, not shown well on these this morning because there are pockets of colder air in many other places but yep Chill on the hill this morning is not Alt Nahara Swords at minus 3.3, followed shortly behind minus 3.1 at Aviemore. So, yeah, cold air is still in place. But as I've mentioned, it is a beautiful morning. Just having a quick look at some of the traffic cameras uh, across the southeast of England. This is the M25 in typical fashion, very busy, but the skies are clear. So it is very nice, but it is a going downhill kind of day. And if we take a look at the facts chart, this rather harmless uh, front sitting out towards sort of northern Germany at midnight tonight, this is going to start heading um, eastwards in association with that cold pool that I've been talking about. It's going to bring just a few shares. It's not bringing anything significant and perhaps the rain on it that looked quite intense a few days ago isn't quite as extreme now. But it will mean a change is on the way in the next 24 hours. And this is the facts chart at midnight tonight. This occlusion has moved over. It's brought in its front. It's brought in some rain showers. So if we just take a quick look at the satellite imagery, this is southeast England at the moment, completely clear of cloud, as we've already seen. But this is the trouble lurking out towards the east. All this cloud will be marching westwards today. So this is at seven o'clock. This is at nine o'clock and this is by midday. So if you've got a clear sunny start at the moment, cloud will be increasing throughout the course of the morning. And then this afternoon, this is by two o'clock and this is by four o'clock. The cloud does bring in, uh, come in and it does bring with it some showery rain. So we'll now have a little look at the sequence played out by Icon to see where this rain is, how it plays out. And we'll start at the here and now at seven o'clock in the morning. So completely clear of cloud across the southeast of England. But as I mentioned, that cloud from the east will start to fill in from the east this morning. And I reckon by about two o'clock this afternoon, the showers will be starting to knock on the door of East Kent, parts of Suffolk and Essex. And then what happens is over the course of the rest of the afternoon, this showery rain, potentially quite heavy for a time, will move westwards across southeast England. So it's going to reach London by about five o'clock. But if you notice, it is fizzling out as it does so. So by the time it reaches parts of West Sussex and Hampshire, it's virtually fizzled out. And then what you have got is you've just got the legacy of some showers then peppering those East Kent and North Kent coasts around the Thames Estuary and perhaps into Essex overnight. So there you go. It's a... Uh, bright start but it does turn showery later 
we'll have a look at your winds today. So again, we keep this northeasterly feed coming in from the North Sea, pegging back those temperatures. Typically 18 to 20 miles an hour is a moderate to fresh. So on the Beaufort scale, that is force four to five. And these are your average temperatures. What I'll do is I'll run through from now. So this is at obviously seven o'clock this morning. This is at 10 o'clock. So we get up to around about 14, 15 degrees to the west of London is fairly pleasant. This is the you know, up until one o'clock. So much the same as yesterday, but look towards the east. Those temperatures are starting to fall away. This is These are the temperatures at one o'clock. So you're probably only seeing nine or 10 degrees on the East Kent coast and then run that forward to four o'clock this afternoon. Notice how that cold showery air in association with the long forecast cold pool moves across southeast England. And this is the temperature for all of us at seven o'clock tonight in single figures, eights, nines and tens. Overnight, no real temperature related problems because of the cloud. There will be showers continuing on the eastern coast and perhaps a little bit further inland at times. And that's what we wake up to in the morning. Temperatures typically in the range of five to seven degrees. More showers tomorrow. We'll come on to that in the forecast tomorrow morning. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. Have a lovely day and ciao for now.